Hey, I'm here. <laughs> All right, Facebook has done their thing again, and I couldn't get on live uh, to go on time anyways. So thank goodness for StreamYard, because I can make that work and so here i am all right so the energies um first of all we welcome february and the energies are so strong i don't know if you feel them but if you're not releasing what needs to go something's going to happen for it to trigger you and actually you know get that releasing going on so really important to Focus on how you're feeling. If there's something you're holding on to, make a list. How do you feel? Get all the, the emotions out on a list and, 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 you know, work on releasing them. There's many, many different ways to release. Um, my favorite way is the easy way because um, if it's easy, then I'm more apt to do it. So I basically ask the question, am I ready to release this anger? and yes when that's it you don't have to answer the when you're energetically asking when and poof it's gone i know it sounds easy but easy is the best all right so let's do a um a, like a declaration uh i posted one in the group earlier really recommend that one so basically you want to declare your space sovereign and so you don't have to follow those words you can uh, make it up yourself uh, basically you're declaring your space sovereign so i declare my space sovereign I command all energies that no longer serving my highest good be removed from my space. I command that all cords of attachment be cut, sent back with love, and I take back my power. I do all of this through all space and time, all dimensions, realities, everywhere where my I am presence has you know put itself we have many like the weird part and I think it's really weird is that um, I heard someone call it an oversoul so we have an oversoul our I am presence and we want to experience everything that's possible so we have many realities and so yeah that's kind of weird but uh, in this reality, all we have to do is claim our sovereignty and declare our space sovereign. And then it actually changes it for all other realities, which is kind of cool. So I'm shuffling the dragon cards. We'll see what dragon wants to come to us today. We, I don't know if you've been working with the dragons weekly. I, I work with them every day. And I my favorite, if you've heard my other videos, is my the fire dragon and uh, the rainbow dragon. I am from the rainbow dragon tribe. So, um, oh, so the... Uh, <laughs> okay, so... Let me get my glasses on. So this is the Golden Atlantean Dragon. Helps you remember the wisdom of Golden Atlantis. Awaken. Bring back your knowledge, gifts, and talents. Reclaim your mastery. So let's see. All right. So <laughs> trying to get that straight. All right. So isn't that beautiful? Look at the giant crystal. And it's just blooming. And yeah, it's almost like you see the third eye. It's almost like a, um, a horn there as well. It's quite the powerful dragon. So golden Atlantean dragon. So let's look that up. And I open the page right to it. So I'll post this in the group too. 
It's a seventh dimensional golden Atlantean dragons hold the keys and codes of the awesome wisdom of golden Atlantis. The golden era of Atlantis lasted for 1,500 years. And during the time, the people lived in harmony and happiness at the upper, upper level of the fifth dimension. Humans, animals, and the land itself radiated a golden aura, and everyone enjoyed soul satisfaction. Source energy powered the great crystal held in the temple of Poseidon, which was the pure source of no, the pure source for the civilization. The awesome spiritual technology of Atlantis was activated by crystals and mind control. When we are ready to bring back our innate Atlantean knowledge and wisdom, golden Atlantean dragons will come to us and reactivate the gifts and talents and information held within our DNA. The guidance of this card. Uh, this card invites you to activate your own personal fifth dimensional blueprint for it contains the light of the incredible era of golden Atlantis. The golden Atlantean dragon who has come to you now, <laughs> sorry, the golden Atlantean dragon who has come to you now worked directly with all the great masters of Atlantis during the, oh, I'm not going to say this right, Hal, Hal, Halcyon days, Halcyon days, and remembers exactly who you truly are. Prepare to reclaim your mastery. You are ready to dissolve the final veils of amnesia, and your dragon will assist you to do so. Ask it to breathe its golden fire into your third eye so that the final clearance and awakening can take place. Your dragon will remain with you and shine light into you as you prepare to stand in your power as an Atlantean master. Now, that is the coolest thing. Um, I have, I've got a huge fascination for Atlantis and the different things that happened there and the power of the crystals that are there and like both uh, Atlantis and Lemuria. I, I'm just huge on, on different things that, that have happened there and the power that they attained. So the fact that this dragon is coming, I'm going to show you again. All right. So I'll post this in the group because I don't know if this is backwards or not. Um, but for now, let's go into um, uh, meditation and we'll bring in this, this dragon. So take some deep breaths, breathing into your heart. All right. So we want to breathe into our heart. There's such power when you include your heart and your breathing. Every day, just breathe in your heart and expand. You're expanding your heart coherence is what it's called. Just breathe into that. Feel your body relaxing. We call upon the beings of light to join us, protect us on this journey. The human experience that we're having, the energies that are coming to us, protect us if it's too strong, assist us in raising our vibration so we can handle it. Just keep breathing that in. Call upon the golden Atlantean dragon to stand before us. Visualize a golden dragon standing before you and ask it to breathe the golden energy onto your third eye. Feel your third eye being open wider than ever before. Feel anything that was causing resistance in your third eye opening, any calcification, 
anything blocking your third eye, feel that fall away by this simple golden breath. The dragon will stay with you for as long as you need it. Just keep breathing that in and feeling your third eye. If it's the first time your third eye is open, just visualize it blinking, opening and closing. Visualize the golden light, the golden breath from this magical dragon. Clearing away all resistance and opening your third eye much larger. See the colors so brightly. Feel the crystal energy from this dragon as it connects you to Atlantis and the power of this crystal. Visualize the crystal in front of you. You're standing in the, a temple in Atlantis and visualize yourself staring at this crystal, knowing that all knowledge is within this crystal. Ask for a sign. Ask for information that you require to continue on your spiritual journey. Breathe in that information. Now you may not know this information consciously. You will absorb this information and it will come forth when you need it. We call upon the key codes to access this knowledge. We ask that the key codes enter our body and it'll only enter if you're willing and, and giving it permission. Ask the key codes to enter your body and affect your DNA. Breathe in the key codes. Feel the brightness of the golden energy enter your body as the key codes swirl through your body, lighting up all the DNA. Opening us to the knowledge of what we already know within us. Breathe that in. Thank this beautiful dragon. Thank the knowledge. Know that you can return to this temple and this crystal anytime you close your eyes and you breathe into your heart and you request the golden Atlantean dragon to take you there. Take a deep breath. Open your eyes when you're ready. All right, so this is a powerful dragon for opening your third eye and the crystal. Now think of the computers that we have. Uh, the computers run, like the memory in that run with quartz crystal. So really, really important to be aware of the fact that all crystals hold knowledge. It's not just quartz crystal, it is all crystals will hold knowledge. So when you hold on to a crystal, connect with it and ask it for a message. When you open yourself up to receive that kind of information, you will receive it. And it's just being aware that it's there and that you have the power to access it. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that. Again, a beautiful dragon. And using StreamYard, I can't see any comments right now, so I will get into Facebook soon and uh, check out your comments. Leave a comment. How did you feel? Did you get any message you want to share? And uh, many, many blessings. Namaste.